Hey everyone. Today we're looking at the automatic air conditioning and heat controls from uh, 2004 Yukon XL. Uh, this is the one that has the independent temperature adjustments for driver and passenger. As you can see, this one is removed from the vehicle. Two screws, two plugs, out it comes. So we're going to go into it. Uh, the problem that I'm experiencing is when it's cold, when you adjust the temperature, it doesn't adjust or it adjusts erratically. Many times when you're trying to turn the heat up, temperature will go down, which is opposite of what you really want when it's freezing outside. So we're going to try and look at this, uh, open it up, see what makes it tick, and see if we can find uh, either a cold solder joint or something that we need to address, maybe some cleaning that needs to be done. Uh, but we're going to get into it right now. Okay, so we're going to need 3 16 socket. I want to go ahead and pull these knobs off first. screws on the back. And it's probably metric, but I'm not sure what size. I know it's smaller than a five millimeter. If we put it back together, I'll probably find a metric socket that will fit better. So here's the four. front plate comes right off and these are our controls that don't seem to work when it's cold so I'd like to um, take a look at the back of this board we've got a tab here and a tab here it looks like spring-loaded so I'll press on that and then press over here pocket screwdriver Got this alignment pin that holds it down really tight. So it doesn't look like there's much that's serviceable or going on here. But what I would like to do to try and address this is twofold. I want to put some electrical parts cleaner down in these pots or these, uh, I guess these are... Um, uh, rotary encoders kind of that uh, just just tell 
motion because they don't have a, a start or a stop like a potentiometer would. So I'm going to give those a little, little shot of the uh, electrical parts cleaner. And then I would like to go and hit these with the soldering iron. As you can see, there's not much solder on these. Let's see if I can get you in tight. Tell you what, I'll, I will reset the shot and I'll come back. Okay, here you can see, this is the driver's side uh, temperature adjuster, I believe. You can see there's not a whole lot of solder on these, so I'm wondering if these maybe were a cold solder joint from the factory, especially these up here. These don't have anything on them hardly. Let's look at the other ones. Kind of the same thing. They're kind of gray looking. They don't appear to be very robust solder joints. So I think I'm going to set up a soldering iron. Um, probably a, a 20 watt soldering iron with, uh, with a really fine tip. And I'm just going to give those guys a little bit more solder. So let me get that set up and get the uh, iron heated up and we will uh, come back um, so hang on we'll be right back all right we're back we're set up got some good old-fashioned radio shack rosin core solder got a tip cleaner got our fine tip soldering iron so we're going to put a little dab of solder on the tip Get it tinned, make some smoke, and we'll clean that, just poking it into the bristles there. Put a little bit more, tin the tip. Put a little bit of heat. Done. That was one. Two. Three, four, five. That's those. No. This side. Over a little bit. I don't know if this low wattage will have enough power to heat up these big legs here. Might have to get the butane. Yeah, not enough heat. Okay, well that's the, the main ones done. Next, I think we need to uh, turn it over, put some of that uh, contact cleaner inside. It looks pretty good. So let me grab the contact cleaner. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Some electromotive parts cleaner. We're just going to open this up. We're going to get a paper towel. And a shield. The rest of this board while we give that a good dousing. I'm spinning it. Give it a little squirt. Spin it back and forth. Make sure that we get everything out. Let's go back over here to this one. 
again, shielding the rest of the board. dries up really quickly just to make sure I'll hit it with a little bit of compressed air this is a, about 50 psi not too much make sure we get it all out of there We have finished what we needed to do on this repair. So now we'll reassemble it, see if it works. Uh, one thing that's interesting about this failure for me was that it only did it when it was cold. Once the car got hot uh, or up to temperature, they would work. So let's uh, go through the process of reassembly now and we'll see if we made an impact, see if we made it better. That's the goal, right? We want to make it better. Not any worse. Don't want to do any harm. Just want to make it better. I mean, this car has 200,000 miles on it. It's been a great vehicle. Little niggly things like this come up from time to time. Um, but it's been a good vehicle. It eats brakes because uh, we drive it pretty hard. We don't tow with it, but we do drive it hard. This has a really nice feel to it. You hear it? This one does not. I'm wondering. Does this need more cleaner? I think maybe it does. So I'm going to pull this board back out and we'll do it one more time and I'll come back and see if we can hear a difference. Okay. Just going to put the cover back on. Flip it over. Uh, 3 16 is the size that fits the best. I couldn't find one in metric. Uh, 5 millimeter fits okay, uh, but I don't have anything smaller that would fit better. So we are going to assemble it using the 3 16 socket. They sound the same now. So I did give that other one a second shot of the uh, Electromotive parts cleaner. And just slide these on, snap. So this is ready to go back in the car. I think it's time to go see if we did any harm or if we actually fixed this thing. Hey everybody, we got her installed. So let's test it out. Do a startup. Oh yeah, nice cold startup here. 34 degrees in North Carolina today, where I am. All right, so what we want is we want every click to be a degree up. Every click to be a degree, degree up, down is down. So let's start over here. So we're gonna do a degree up, 76, 77, 78, 
79, 80. Let's go down. 79. Look at that. Look at that. Let's try the driver's side. Up is up. Each click is up. Each click counterclockwise is one degree down. I'd say that that is a successful fix. That's fantastic. So now we know how to go in and clean those encoders, uh, add some solder to those joints to make them look happier so they're not quite so gray. Uh, and hopefully if you have this problem, this helps you out and helps you to uh, resurrect your automatic air conditioning controls and your temperature controls in your GMC or Chevrolet product. Um, I think this may also cross over to the Cadillac Escalade. So uh, if you would, just uh, like, uh, like the video and uh, subscribe if you can and uh, we'll see you next time back in the shop a successful fix very happy very happy thanks guys take care